what is up guys welcome back so I'm still I'm still a little bit sick but um, you know I I'm I'm really excited like <laughs> I'm glad that my sickness has put me on tilt yesterday to do summons and I I managed to pull that death knight you know it was really really good um, I'm really happy with the game right now. like I think I think um, NC soft did a really really good job just making this game I've I've been having a lot of fun just just playing you know progressing and and building my team it feels really satisfying in my opinion like it feels really really good for um, to be able to just slowly progress and then have so many things that you can work on at a time to to make your team stronger so you know I've, I basically you know I, I went out of my way yesterday to do 210 to get the extra physical defense and then I can like you know I'm always aiming to to clear something to make my team stronger I think they did a really really good job in um, the the design of this 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 game. Um, so I I I raised him. I raised him to max level, and I started using him on my main team. I maxed out his skills. I maxed out everything. I tried to make him as strong as I can, and I'm really really happy with the results. I was actually able to use the skin as well that they gave us for Christmas. This is really good. It gives us uh, it gives him 150 extra crit. I don't know how many percent that is, but that is already higher than his base crit. So you know that's 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 pretty that's pretty good news like and the skin skin looks really nice it actually makes him look like like it literally makes him look like a pimp but you know it's 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 good it's like it's like a a mix between a skeleton santa and a pimp basically yeah exact that's exactly what the skin is it's the mix of a three the three but yeah i'm i'm super happy with him and i I actually underestimated how good his third skill is. I know he's really, really strong because of his second skill. Like, skill gauge strain is insane. Him paired with Olga is just, like, it makes it so um, the enemy can't can't use their first skill. Like, I think it's a pretty strong counter to um, Adele in the arena. You know, Adele, Adele Hyde or something? Whatever her name is. This hardcore pay-to-win monster. I'm... I'm actually thinking of like, of like, going somewhat pay to win. Like, I, I actually really want her. Like, I, it's gonna cost me like 50 bucks to do it. But I mean, I, I do spend a lot. Like, I, I've spent a lot on playing Monster Super League. I haven't spent that much on this game. The only thing I really bought was the bunny. I also bought that like, I think it was like three or five dollar dagger pack. Um, this thing over here. It shows up in NT, but this is basically $3, this is $5. Um, and I basically just bought these daggers last time to to level my my hero up, and I bought that that this this bunny over here. So this is the only thing, these are the only things I bought in the game. I'm not exactly sure, maybe I'll hold off a little. I was like a, a little bit hesitant, because I'm running kind of low on like PayPal money. I've been spending quite a lot this month um, playing both games, and kind of waiting for... Waiting for uh, for for you two to pay me for next month, so I, I kind of have to like wait before then before I can I can buy anything. Um, but maybe maybe like I I do have a little bit left over in my PayPal, so if I really want to do it, I can I can definitely do it. But it, it'll make it so I can't I won't be able to buy anything for the next like month or so until until like maybe 20 days later. Um, but yeah, that's. That's that. It's not. It's it's not a big deal. It's not not super something super important. I'm still considering it because she's really really OP. Like, a, there's no tank that can match her. I don't think. Like, I think there is there is one other tank in the game that, that might be able to match her, and that's like the the uh, the vampire. Like the vampire is actually a really really strong tank. He's a frontline. Um, he's a frontline self-sustaining tank basically, right? Yeah, extra high that he's frontline. Yeah, frontline magic magic tanker. Um, yeah, he has really really good self sustain, but it's gonna take me a long time before I can get him. So I was thinking of getting Adele, but like, you know, she's she's also she might be stronger in the arena still. Like the eighty percent incoming damage reduction is insane. Like when you level this up, it goes up to like ninety percent or some shit like that. It basically makes it so she's she's healing back her HP like buy a lot and at the same time she buys herself like four seconds of like pretty much invincibility near invincibility for like four seconds 
which is insane. And her other two skills are also really, really strong. Like, not knockback is really strong on tanks. Knockback makes it so... Um, I, I talked a little bit about this yesterday. Like, it makes it so when you when you hit others, it knocks them back. And then, like, you're, if you have some sort of AOE on your team... Um, Sometimes when the the front the frontliner and the backliners are too far apart, it doesn't hit every single target. When you're when you're like AOE nukers nuke the front line, but if you knock them back, it the the AOE nuke hits like all the units. So it makes it so they're all bunched up together, and the like the you know the nukes that hit like three targets or some something like that um, hit all the targets. He also she also has CC resist. Which makes her very, very strong against, like, you know, trying to CC her. If you're trying to, like, stun her to make sure she can't heal or anything like that, it probably won't work because she has really, really high um, CC resist. So, she's almost a perfect unit. She's, like, she's basically everything you want from a, ta from a tank. Um, and, and anyone that goes pay to win can get her for free, so I don't know. I'm, I was thinking, I was thinking maybe. Maybe I should do it. Like it'll it'll definitely put me top 100 arena like really easily if I just if I just spend 50 bucks but uh not not too sure I wanna I wanna go go that hard yet but um the next little thing I wanna wanna do is definitely raise my raise my death knight to to red quality I didn't I didn't exactly like I I just need a little bit more actually no I need need a lot more this is probably gonna take three days but I've been working on trying to get my succubus to level up it's not that hard to get her to plus three it's actually relatively easy so it's not it's not the worst thing in the world um yeah basically just gonna keep her keep her like this for now and just slowly work on her it's kind of the only thing I can work on because these guys have hit a bottleneck and I can't do anything without these potions. So that's that's a lot of ranting. It's like seven minutes of ranting, um, talking about my progression. But I I wanted to also do some do whatever I need to do today. Oh my god, they still haven't fixed that bug. What the fuck is that shit? It locks me out every single time I click on the arena or the Colosseum. Every single time I click on the Colosseum, um, if I if I've been playing for a while, it locks me out and lo and I have to log back in. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world because the the game actually doesn't have that long of a loading time, and especially with me running it on an emulator, it's like super fast. Like my my computer processing this is like way faster than my my phone processing this. Just the loading screen only takes a few seconds, I think. Wait, yeah, see, it's already done. Like I'm already in the game. So, um, I really do hope that they don't like uh, the the developers have been saying that they're. They're they're banning like a lot of people that are using illegal programs or hacking and stuff. But I, I really hope that they don't crack down on emulators because a lot of us do play the game on emulators and it makes it super convenient. Like I I love like for me myself, like how I record on, on my computer, if I had to use my tablet and and do like, you know, use Moby Zen or some shit like that to to um, link it and record, it just it's it just it makes it so much more troublesome, you know. Um, so I really, really hope that they don't crack down on emulators and I can continue using this in the future. I just really, really wish that that would happen, but I'm not too sure. I did leave a... I left a post, actually, on the on the community tab over here, um, in general, for for the developers. Should be the... should be... should be this one. Yeah, this one. I left them a post, actually. I, I don't know if they're going to reply yet, um, but basically, I... I asked if um, you know it's been noted that the game is taking aggressive action towards hacking and the use of illegal programs. Thank you for keeping a health, um, healthy game environment for us players. I'm really glad that you guys are ensuring that cheaters get banned. Oh, this is just bullshit. Um, however, with the announcement has brought many concerns in regard to use, the use of emulators. I've been running the subreddit for this game. I kind of said men, mentioned this to like you know say that there's people asking but there's people asking on YouTube as well and there has been many um, questions about the use of emulators such as Nox or Bluestacks. I actually got the idea to do this because someone actually left a comment for me on, on one of my previous videos talking about emulators um, so I like how about how the they're banning people and then um, wondering if emulators are, are usable. I don't have an answer for that so I decided to try try to ask the devs 
As many people use emulators to play instead of phones and tablets, would it be possible to get a quote from you guys for the community saying for sure that the use of emulators is either allowed or using them will result in bans? Thank you. So that's basically it. I left them a message and hopefully they reply. Um, if you guys want to help me out a bit, you can leave some comments on this message. Like, be like, hey, I, I second this, you know. Uh, maybe they'll see a post with like a, a bunch of, um, you know, a bunch of people leaving comments. They'll, they'll, be, they'll be more likely to notice it faster and we can get an answer from them. Because um, it, it would be really bad, like, if I, if I paid to, to play in the game. And then I got banned for playing this on on an emulator. Um, I know I know some games in the past have have like bans on emulators. Well, not bans, but like they don't allow emulators. Like games like Summoners War, they they said it was easier to hack the game on emulators. That's why they they didn't want to deal with it. But for like Monster Super League, the devs actually said that you know it's uh, it's okay to use emulators. I should probably go fuck someone up while I'm talking. It it just saves more time, so the video doesn't become like 40 minutes long. How do f how do people have like five stars? What the like? How much do you have to pay to to have a full team of five stars? What is this bullshit? Oh, I also need to do the do the achievement for them as well. But I, I kind of want to show off my death knight. Can I beat this guy? Actually, they don't have much damage. I might be able to do something. I wanted to try to try to beat Adele. Like she's just too too OP in the arena. I was thinking of running something like this. I've been running this for PvE, but I don't have a proper tank for PvP. Like, he's not a proper... He's good for PvE, because he has, like, really good self-sustain, but he's he's really bad for PvP. Like, he doesn't have any sort of uh, damage mitigation, which is, like, probably the most important thing you want in, in PvP for tanks. Because of how, how much damage the enemy team actually does. Alright, that did not work the way I wanted to, and she got her heal off. I'm so fucked. God, what the fuck? Please nerf this shit. Please nerf this shit. Alright, that's it. Uh, I swear to God, if I get pissed off enough, I will go pay to win. God fucking damn it. That was. This is retarded. Alright, this shit is so retarded. Oh my god, how do you, how do you have four, four epic quality monsters? What is this bullshit? These guys are like hard, hardcore pay to win. I don't know, it feels like the teams with Adele and the teams without are like night and day. Oh shit, I can't do anything. Can't do anything for another three minutes. Alright, let's go do something else. But yeah, if you guys wanna really wanna help out, you can go in the community D tab. Community tab. Um, it's one of the posts in the like near the top. And you can just leave a comment on there saying that like, you know, I second this. Please please uh please tell us if using emulators are okay. You know, because I'm I'm very concerned as well, and a lot of us are, because I think most of us that play a lot of mobile games because I think most of the people on my channel like they play multiple mobile games at least from the people I've talked to on discord um, they mentioned that they play multiple mobile games so yeah that's like you know you can't have you, your phone can only run one game but uh, I'm, I'm basically like you know like I'm playing multiple games at the same time like if you wanna if you wanna see my my uh, um, I think it was this one yeah, see, like my de desktop looks exactly like this. It's basically, oh shit, wait, I forgot to, I forgot to farm in this. But it's basically me like farming on multiple games. Like I'm, I'm not just playing one game at a time. So I'm, I'm playing like, uh, like both games at the same time. So it's, it's, it would be really, really nice to know. It would be really, really nice to, um, you know, if, if they say that it's allowed. 
because I I just I just really really hope that they allow emulators and I can I can play this you know comfortably and stuff. Oh, I also spawned a raid boss, so let's uh let's let's fuck him up as well. I think I have a slightly stronger raid team now. I always hit the tail because the tail actually does more damage. Like the 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 face has too much CC. Oh, I also have a extra damage like physical damage dealer now, so I can I can run this comp. We got the stupid elder. I should probably level these two up a bit, you know, if I wanna if I wanna stay uh stay competitive in raids. I'm gonna wait for an armor. I'm gonna wait for her to buff, and then I'll buff. Like this way, I can stack the buffs. Like right before I transform, I put up the CC buff, and then I um, and then I transform and put up the attack buff. All right. That was pretty much it. I think armor break is the most important thing. Or if you're running a full magic team, the uh, like the the magic resist break or some shit like that is really really good. Cause you see the moment that armor break lands, his bar still sl starts like dropping like crazy. Like, see how fast it flies when armor breaks on, compared to compared to now when there's no debuffs. Mm, only 40%. But the boss is level 8, so he's he's definitely a lot stronger now. Alright, what's the time riff for today? Friday, Den of Desire. Um, I'm gonna farm the shit out of this one. I'm pro probably gonna farm it three times when it when it comes out. I'll still do Full Moon Temple because I can switch them out. Like I can still use her for PVE, but I, I kind of want to use him for PVP. All right, what am I allowed to use? Oh, it's the Humanoid Day. All right, this is easy. I got tons of monsters I can use. Tons of monsters I can use. All right, full physical comp. Here we go. Man, this video is getting extra long. Wait, I I forgot to activate Owen. I think the best time to activate Owen is it when, um, uh, like right after Lara does the. Does the CC buff? The anti CC buff? Because then your team keeps it, and then she transforms into Owen, and then Owen immediately buffs your entire team for um, extra damage. Well, that was that was unfortunate. I only got one. Let's see if we can do the next stage. Yeah, he's level 43, but I might be able to do this still, because I'm able to use a lot of my main monsters. Well, they're not my main monsters, but they're they're uh, they're leveled up enough. All right, buffed up. Buff up for Owen as well. Land armor break and let's hope we do some hope we do some mad damage on, on his face. Hmm, I wonder why my orc is dying. Alright, just at least land one more armor break before you die. I think he has a nuke that targets the monster with the lowest HP or something like that. That's the reason why my orc was dying. Oh shit, no more armor breaks. I might be in trouble. 
Okay, I'm in trouble. I like having armor break is is like night and day. Just having it increases your your team's overall damage by so much. The moment he died, everything fell apart. Well, at least I still completed it, but um, didn't get too much out of it. Oh yeah, I also got one more summon I can do today. But one free summon, let's see what I get. Oh, I'm so close. But if I can get Medusa 3 stars, she might be worth raising. Because I can I can build like a full Petrify comp. That might be pretty strong. Normal stage, challenge the tower, champion. Body calls you. All right. Um, there's only tower, and then one more arena match left. All right. Let's see if we can get Zenith Queen today. Wait, did I get a piece yesterday? I, I think I didn't. I was super unlucky. I didn't, I didn't get a single piece yesterday, right? But I still need a lot of pieces to do to do this. Well, let's hope we get at least two today, and then like maybe two tomorrow. Um, they have some sort of destiny, right? That needs to. Oh shit! I forgot to check if there was some any destiny for the the previous stage, the one we were doing before. Oh shit! I forgot to check. I really should check in the future. You guys should definitely check in the future. Like, um. If you're if you're doing the dailies, like the daily time rift dungeon, check which monsters need to complete certain like certain maps for for the daily dungeon, and and yeah, just just do it with that monster. All right, we got him to spawn. We got her to spawn first, first uh, first ticket. So good so far. Let's hope she drops something. Wait, I'm not sure if this this is the comp that needs to kill the Zenith Queen. I should probably go back and check. Come on, please drop something. Please drop a piece. Oh my god, so unlucky. Let me let me make sure it's it's the actual comp, alright? Alright, so she needs it. Does she need it? No, she doesn't need it. Um, she doesn't need it either. Oh, we actually have this complete already. So... I guess... Oh, this skeleton needs it. So I guess we switch some of some of them out and then put in some tanks. All right. Um, none of them need Zenith Queen, right? Okay, we're we're good. All right, I just I just had to make sure. All right, I just had to make sure. It's a good thing I checked too. After I farm the Zenith Queen, I might start working on a Vampire. If I decide to not go pay to win. If I do go pay to win, then I probably will just keep farming pieces for, for the Zenith Queen. Um, what was the plan? Oh yeah, I don't need any of these two anymore. I need to put in the little skeleton dude. And I need to put in... I guess I could put in one more tank. Might as well just do this. Cause no none of my other monsters have any sort of destiny related to this anymore. I wish we had more tickets every day. Oh my god, she didn't even spawn. 
I think my luck's getting worse now that I'm closer and closer to getting her. It's like, you shall not pass. You know? What if we farm floor, floor 9? Let, let's switch it up, let's switch it up. We go, we farm floor 10, alright? And see if she spawns. Maybe uh, activate Owen, you know, for, for some of that DPS. Alright, come on. Yes! It worked! Maybe maybe it has something to do with clear time. Maybe I need to I need to put in the, the strongest comp possible and just nuke the living shit out of her. Come on, die! Please drop something, please drop something. Oh my god, what is this bullshit? What the fuck? Oh my god, I can't be this unlucky two days in a row. Actually, it was a good thing I didn't transform. AoE damage is probably stronger against them. Come on, please spawn, please spawn, please spawn. Yes! Alright, please, I just need one more piece, so I can at least have a chance to get you tomorrow. Did they nerf the drop rates, or was I just super lucky, like, 10 days in a row? Before, before today. Maybe it's because I switched out my, my normal comp. You know, trying to, trying to complete the destiny for some of these monsters. Maybe it has something to do with clear time, you know, because when I was using my normal comp, it just cleared it super fast. Maybe it has something to do with that. Maybe I'm getting superstitious again. This is how you know you're a gambler. Where you get superstitious about anything. Oh my god, alright. My superstition is true. Tomorrow, tomorrow I don't give no shit about the skeleton's destiny. F fuck him. Um, wait, but I think I, I completed destiny for her, right? Yep, I did. But then again, I don't really use her. His destiny is actually pretty important. The HP, extra HP is really strong. So I, I definitely want to want to do that. Um, I don't know. I want more pieces for him as well. Definitely want to give him to at least three stars. This is a very very good monster, like for cheesing shit. He just he this buff is super strong. It's like it's insane. Just makes her team like super tanky against magic damage. Use them for certain stages. Alright, that was that was unfortunate. Um Alright we have one more Coliseum battle left. That's basically it. Let's see if there's anyone that I can revenge. But his ranking is too low, rip. God, I can't beat anyone with Adele. Unless I get my own Adele. Maybe I should go buy my own Adele. This is bullshit. Or see, this comp doesn't have Adele. Like, like I'll, I'll bully the shit out of her. <laughs> I don't know, I should, I should go buy my own Adele. Um, maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe I'm gonna get wrecked. Do you think I'm gonna get wrecked? Okay, no, never mind. One of them died. Just look at the snowball effect of the Death Knight. Watch me cleave this. It's it's insane. Like the the moment somebody dies, your Death Knight will make your whole entire team just snowball out of control. They just they just go crazy.
What the fuck? Alright, um... It, it was just fail to load data for the next team, alright? That was, that was, that was all. Alright, so... That's, that's, that's it for today. Um... That's it for the, for the daily stuff for today. Definitely going to be making more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out.